We are back from vacation, so it's time to get back into the swing of things. So I'm at the grocery store. I'm gonna go to several different grocery stores today and get all the things that we need to cook because we did eat out more than I thought we were going to at the beach because I mean, hello, we're on vacation. But it's time to tighten the budget and see if we can do some very budget-friendly meals and um, I'll show you what I got from the grocery store and then I'll show you the meals that I'm gonna put together. Okay, so I'm back from Aldi's. Let me show you what I got. I got some grapes, some peppers, picked up a bag of organic apples, Texas toast, five cheese toast, picked up a pineapple, I think they were on sale. I needed some more spray, um, olive oil spray, mashed potatoes, stuff and mix, turkey flavor, some classic pasta salad. I got two things of chicken broth. I picked up two of the turkey um, kielbasas. I picked up two of these, but we have already used one of them. Um, I got some shredded lettuce. I'm gonna do some wraps. I got a bag salad that I'm just gonna go side salad with one of the meals, flour tortillas, uh, mozzarella cheese, got some regular romaine lettuce, and I picked up, these are my favorite pasta sauces. Um, they're very inexpensive for an organic brand. It's like $1.89, I think. So, picked up tomato basil, and then I got marinara. And got some provolone cheese, some carrots, celery, and then I got the chicken strips that we're going to make for, um, in our burritos. And then I got these chicken patties to make chicken, oh, what's it called? It's chicken with the marinara and the cheese. It's not Parmesan chicken. Anyway, I don't know, remember what it's called. But I'm going to be making that with this chicken. So, I got all of this was around 70 something dollars. 74, 75, something like that. I'm going to show you what meals. I'm going to get about a week's worth of meals out of this. And I'm really trying to tighten the budget now that we're back from vacation. Trying to stretch our dollars. Um, I'll show you some pretty cheap, inexpensive, decent meals to throw together. So that's what I got from Aldi. So let's get into tonight's supper. This is going to be super inexpensive, very quick. And I picked all this up from Aldi's minus the veggies I got from my garden. So this bag of chicken strips was $7 and something. This was like $1.89 and this was like $1.79, $69 or $79. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the chicken in the air fryer, put it in the tortilla, put some lettuce on it. I got some tomato that I could add to it too. Um, I think I got some bacon, so we can make a chicken bacon wrap. And then I've got some homemade ranch that I'm gonna drizzle on it and then roll it up. And on the, for my sides, I have corn out of the garden that I'm going to cut off the cob and cook up. And so, yeah, so all of this together was like $11 and something. So that's going to feed my whole family. We are tightening down on the budget and trying to have some very inexpensive, but still taste good meals. So this is tonight's meal. I'll show you what it looks like. I got my handy dandy Ninja air fryer. Love this thing. It's dual sided. So it's good. Ooh, that needs to be cleaned. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. Look at that one. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Anyway, it's dual sided and I love it. I got it on sale somewhere. But anyway, we're gonna take our chicken and throw it in our air fryer, cook it up for about 10 minutes and it's gonna be ready for our wraps. Now I got both sides cooking. All right, I have 
cooked my corn on the cob from my garden. My chicken out of the air fryer. I have my bacon that I got cooked right here. Now, some people just take the whole strip and put it in the burrito and roll it up. I'm actually gonna chop it into pieces, like bite-sized pieces, add it to my burrito and my bacon. I'm gonna add some bacon and some shredded lettuce and some ranch. So I'm just, I'm just gonna take my chicken and give it a rough chop, like bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna do all of it like this. All right, now I have my chicken all chopped up like this. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna assemble it. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the chicken and put it in here in my burrito. Then I'm gonna take some bacon because I cooked some bacon. So I'm gonna add some bacon to it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add my ranch. I like to put it on the meat. Then I'm gonna add my tomato. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded lettuce. Then we're gonna tuck, roll this bad boy over. And then you can eat it like that. Or you can get fancy with it and eat it just like that. Doesn't that look delicious? That's what's for supper. All right, here's my plate. I've already dived into this because this is so good. And I cut the corn off the cob and it, everything is very delicious. Here is another meal. Very cheap, budget friendly from Aldi's. I got the mozzarella cheese. This was $3 and something. My garden salad was $1.49. This used to be 89 cents, but anyway, everything's gone up. Texas toast, I got five cheese and garlic. They were $2. Um, the jar of organic marinara, you can't beat the price. It's under $2, $1.80 something. And then I picked up these pepperonis. I didn't have them at Aldi's, but I got them at um, my other local grocery store, Ingles. And I like the turkey and I got those and they were like $3 and something. So, um, a grand total of of around $15 to feed my family of four. We're gonna make some cute little pizzas to throw in the oven. We're gonna have a side salad to go with it. I have veggies for my garden that I'm gonna slice up cucumber tomatoes to throw in the salad. And yeah, so quick and easy meal under 15 bucks that feeds four. So all we're gonna do is lay out our pizzas, or not our pizzas, but our, oh man, this stuff is frozen solid. We are going to break these apart. They are actually garlicked on both sides, so that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna take our little bread and we're going to put some marinara sauce on it. This is easy as putting our sauce on, putting our cheese on, throw in the oven. And I'm gonna get the, the other one out too. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of cheese on it this is the mozzarella that I got. And these are fun too. The girls are getting ready to make theirs. But I was just gonna show you how we did it. Throw some pepperoni on here, like so. And then I'm gonna take some more mozzarella cheese and go over the top, kind of press it down. And that's gonna be a gooey, good, Little pizza. All right, the girls have made theirs. Here they are before we put them in the oven. Now we're gonna pop them in the oven. We also have our first cantaloupe out of the garden and we're going to slice it up to go along with our pizza and our salad. All right, here is my cantaloupe chopped up and um, there's nothing better than being able to grow your own food. This is just came out of the oven, smelling delish. And now we're gonna plate it up. It's a pretty salad. I threw some pepperonis on top, added some cucumbers and tomato from the garden. All right, y'all, here is my plate. I got my little mini pizzas there. I got my salad, I'm gonna top it with some homemade ranch. And I got my delicious sweet cantaloupe. So this meal is very fulfilling, very tasty, 
and very low in budget. All right, we are back with another quick, cheap supper. So tonight we are having chicken parmesan, the quick and easy way, okay? I got some chicken patties. This was $7 and something. Then I have some spaghetti that I had in my pantry. Some provolone cheese I picked up for about $3. Got my marinara sauce I got from Aldi's for $1.89. And then some Texas toast I also picked up for $2 at Aldi's. So to all this total together was under $15 and it's gonna feed my family of four. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the marinara sauce and pour it on the bottom of my bacon dish. Then I'm gonna spread it out. Now I'm gonna take my chicken patties and just lay them down in my pan. This is gonna make six patties. They just fit perfectly. Okay, now I'm gonna take my sauce and put a little bit on each one. I'm gonna spread that around. Now I'm gonna take my provolone cheese and place it on top. So I'm gonna put one piece on each chicken. This is gonna make it cheesy and yummy and delicious. Now I'm gonna take some more pasta sauce, pour it on the top. So I'm gonna reserve a little bit for my noodles. Then I'm gonna spread it out. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven on 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. Pop it in there for about 20, 25 minutes. In the meantime, I have my noodles in the pot and I'm gonna get them cooking up. Okay, so now I'm going to take what little bit of sauce I have left for my noodles and give that a good mix up. All right, here it is, right out of the oven. We have our noodles over here that I cooked and put a little bit of sauce on. So now we're gonna plate it up. All right, so I'm gonna take some of the spaghetti, put it on my plate. I'm gonna take the chicken parm, nice and cheesy. And we're gonna put it down on top just like that. And just like that, you have some delicious chicken parmesan with a side of cheese bread. And all of this was under $15. This is gonna be yummy. yummy. Let's cut into it. So, cut into the chicken and the cheese on top and look how delicious and cheesy and yummy. Y'all gotta try this. All right, we're gonna have some chili tonight and this meal is going to be around $20, depending on how much your hamburger meat is. Um, it's still about around $20. All right, to a big pot, you're gonna have, go ahead and add the hamburger meat. I chopped up a bell pepper. I'm gonna add it to my hamburger that's cooking. All right, I have chopped up one whole sweet onion. Oh, I'm missing my pot. Okay. We're gonna add that to the pot. All right, I'm just gonna give that a mix. Now I'm gonna add some of my canned products to it. All right, to my pot now, I'm going to add one can of my diced tomatoes. What is that? I mean, come on now. It's a stem, a tomato stem. Like, really? All right, then we're gonna add my other can of diced tomatoes. Then one can of dark red kidney beans. Then I'm gonna add another can with the juice of light kidney beans. All right, I'm gonna give that a mix. Now all I do is add some water I put two cans of water into it. A uh, one, a uh, two. Now I have my chili season mix. I'm gonna add to my water and the rest of my chili. 
And then I'm gonna give that a stir until it's all combined together. And then I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down on simmer for like a couple hours until all my veggies are nice and tender. And then we're gonna have some chili. Everybody's chili is different. I never make the same chili twice. All right, here is the chili. I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna take some sour cream, dollop of sour cream. We're gonna end with some Fritos on top. And there you have it, chili cheese Frito. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these pretty inexpensive, budget-friendly, quick, very tasty meals. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, and I will see y'all next time.